Okay, so I just want you to kind of tell me the current things that you've been that you were struggling with before coming on your program because we're on to week six now. So this is this is actually the end of week six. So you've been on the twelve week transformation program, and I just usually want you to talk to me about the kind of things you were struggling with uh, b before you, you started to work with us. The timing for me, making food in the morning, stuff like that, I was just very lazy. So it was running off, getting crap for, for lunches and things. At dinner time, sometimes taking the easy option or not making the right thing when we were making it. Or if you were hungry, going and reaching for something like a bar of chocolate instead of some fruit. So just getting that change has been huge. Too much fizzy juice as well for me, which you've uh, you've pointed out a few times. So yeah, far too much fizzy juice at one point. But that's that's all gone though. Okay. Yeah, I think the same, same for me. Of sort of just getting the, you know, I'd rather have ten minutes in bed rather than getting up and having breakfast. And then at lunchtime, you're sort of thinking, oh well, I better get paperwork done. So I'll just nip to Greg's and just get a quick sausage roll. And you know, it was just convenience rather than just making sure there's salad and stuff in the fridge and just quickly making a sandwich which would probably be quicker than you know getting your coat on running to the shop and coming back in again so I think it's we've made us definitely more organized um we're making sure that we've, we're taking time to prepare things the night before um so that in the morning you just lift out the fridge and and go so what you were what you're saying to me is you were really struggling with your 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 diet then basically yeah oh yeah definitely and that was a, a big reason why you wanted to come on board this training program yeah was that you, yeah. you weren't you weren't sure where to go and how to eat properly and what you should be eating and when is that right yeah yeah okay got you so talk about in terms of your body confidence you you, you know before before we met and what your you know your body image etc your performance at work for example how was that what kind of things were you struggling with there feeling quite low lethargic i played the whole season for cricket and okay i was carrying an injury but that doesn't make up for it i just didn't feel fit like you know you only have to bowl so many overs at cricket and usually i could bowl my whole leg no no bother at all and i noticed over the years it's got a bit more of a struggle and this year I was really struggling to complete it. Um, and I think I, I made light of the injury and sort of went, oh, it's, it's that that's holding me up. But even when I got to the end of the year, I've taken some time off and I thought, actually, I'm still not fit enough to do what I want to do. So it was that kind of thing. Work felt slow. Um, and it's not very good if you're giving folk advice on being fit and you're not that fit yourself. So, yeah. So it's quite yeah. important for you guys to be fit then, Joe, yeah? Oh, definitely, yeah. And then if you're trying to show someone stretching exercises and, you know, you can't do it or you're trying to um, show them what else to do and you're getting out of breath quicker than they're getting out of breath, it, it doesn't reflect well on you, you know. And sort of things like even doing home visits and someone lives in a flat and walking up two flights of stairs and you're dying by the time you get to the top, at least now. You, you, you just you're there it's fine you ring the doorbell and then you go you're not having to wait to a couple of minutes to get your breathing back down again brilliant. i mean brilliant. when it comes to the body image i was walking around at a conference this week and i've pretty much been hiking my trousers up every five seconds so i need to go and buy a bloody belt now um, and i'm wearing shirts i've not worn over a year and you're the same wearing mm -hmm. clothes you've not worn in over a year and that's six weeks so brilliant. i think we've had quite a few people sort of Comment. commenting on it now that we're we look healthier you know we're saying we've we're looking happier as well um so i, mean, I think that spurred you on because people are noticing it now you're like oh great what 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 am i going to look like in another three weeks six weeks so it is it's good brilliant brilliant so what what's what's been different about this then what's been different about what you've done in this program you kicking our ass <laughs> no, no. Accountability <laughs> is a really useful thing. Um, having to be accountable to somebody. If you just say, I'm going to have a diet and you're only accountable to yourself, you can sneak a sausage roll and go, oh, it's fine. No, nobody's telling me off. If I eat something like raisin bread, you're furious. So, yeah. Okay. I, I think it's in the food diary. 
And I think when you're right in the food diet every day, you're you're conscious of what you're you're eating because you don't want to go away and sneak a chippy and then have to write that down on the sheet. You know, you'd rather eat sensibly and and with you doing things like the measurements and the weights, if it's not getting the results you would expect as well, and you have to come back and justify it, you're like, well, oh, Adam, you've told me you had a salad every single night for dinner. Clearly, you've not. Yeah. You know, yeah. Kind of thing. So I think the accountability is probably the biggest positive factor for us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. I think, I think we better when someone's there telling us, nah, you've, you've, you've failed this week, you know, Try well. You're not. You're. You're not negative. You're saying, okay, that you was that better. was last week. You yeah. can do better. Let's try something different. So, um, I think that's it as well. Always being positive. That oh. yeah, okay, we didn't do as great, but next week is another week. Let's absolutely let's move move forward. So, uh, what talk about the results you've actually achieved? Then what's changed? You know, what's what have you learned? Well, we're up early every morning getting breakfast some mornings we've gone out for a wee walk before we would even you know before we would just roll out of bed and go straight to work whereas now we're getting up we're spending a bit of time having a even a chat in the morning um even you know we're talking about maybe making sure we take a lunch break at work and getting out for a wee walk then so we're thinking of other things that we can do during the day um you know, we are, we just, I think, yeah, just, we feel so much better. So you just want to keep on going. Excellent. Excellent. So in terms of weight loss so far, then how much do you think you have lost between you and how many clothes sizes, that kind of stuff? What's, what's the story with that? Yeah. Tell me more. Definitely clothes that I had got too big for fit and a hell of a lot better now, which is great. Still not happy with some of them, but I want to keep going. So that's mm -hmm. the important thing. Good. But I can fit in things a lot better. Um, I was over. I was fifteen two, and I'm now closer to thirteen and a half stone in six weeks, which is great. Mm -hmm. And um, so yeah, don't don't know about yourself. Um, I'm sort of down under the twelve stone. Um, so I've not weighed myself this week, but I'm hoping I'll be closer to the eleven and a half. Excellent, um, brilliant. Yeah. So I mean, that's that'll be about the stone that I've lost then because I was about wow. 12, and, uh, 12 and a half so on the upper side 12 and a half when I started so I'm hoping it's to be a good fit under it Excellent, that's amazing you know, I, I'm absolutely delighted for you guys you know, I, I, I'm so pleased that it's an amazing progress six weeks in you've lost a couple of stone between you you keep moving forward you're healthier, you're more active you're thinking healthier the you must just be feeling great. Yeah, how's your energy levels? A lot better. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, We're not getting to the end of the day and it's a drag. We're feeling the end of the day. Okay, it can be a long day, so you're still a bit tired, but we can get to the end of the day and we're not feeling come home and sit down on the sofa and do nothing. We're going, right, oh, that's the end of the day. Let's go for a half hour walk. Let's go and do this. Let's do something. So, yeah, we're feeling a lot lot better we're, we're more active we're more keen on doing things so that will mm -hmm. think mm -hmm. pluses yeah, so yeah, you, would, yeah. you would maybe say that you're more confident about using like for example the gym program and stuff like that how's that going tell me more about that oh, it's it's so good i mean you I mean you've always got your phone on you in the, in the gym anyway to listen to music or whatever so it's easy just to have that in front of you and you just follow it it's 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 easy and um, yeah. and you, you adapt it for us as well which is great so you're not even having to think of about well I'm not really feeling a difference this week you've already sort of thought that through and you've already you know planned our, our next step to, to push us that wee bit harder yeah excellent. and the program is great because I've been using it sort of going right what weight did I lift the last time and how many reps and it's telling you right your best was this so you can sort of try and one up yourself if you get me yeah. So yeah, we're competitive with each other, but you can also compete against what you've done last time. So yeah. that that's handy. Brilliant. Fantastic. So you're enjoying the kind of hybrid programming, the the progressions and stuff like that. How about the home workouts and stuff like that? How have they been for you? 
good to put into practice actually and it shows that you don't actually need to bother running up to the gym every single night you can do things at home which don't take a lot you know um quite easy to do your updating name every time you need something updated or every time you want to change what you're hoping to achieve so yeah that's that's nice and simple excellent and Temsey, tell me about your your bike then i want to hear about the bikes and how they're going your your new bikes tell me more about this uh, they've been great um so i've probably not been on a bike for several well let's just be polite and say several several years um but i've enjoyed getting back out on it again and it's you know it's no hassle just to pop them in the car and go somewhere different it's not like you have to just cycle around where you live you can, there's so many places to go out so yeah. i think we're trying to plan out and get out on them soon yeah or even go you know the times we've been out it's been good we've done things but now we're thinking well actually if we want to go out for a lunch or a breakfast why are we jumping in the car 10-15 minutes okay it might be a 20-30 minute cycle but we can cycle that 20-30 minutes um, and then you can cycle back it's a lot better so we're thinking you know east coast is beautiful why aren't we taking more of a more of a cycle and go sightseeing because you miss everything in the car anyway as well so Absolutely. yeah you can jump on the train from Preston Pans and head down to Long Nibji and go the railway walk. That's a good quick one. It's a, it's, yeah. a, it's a good cycle route as well. So it just takes you to Haddington and you turn back and then you jump back on the train again and head back home. That's quite good fun. Yeah. I've, done that a few, I've done that one a few times as well. So uh, I just want to ask if you would get, what you would say to anybody that's sitting on the fence and it wants to come on board with this programme, what would you say to them? Worth it. Don't, don't hesitate. Worth it. Do it. Yeah, definitely. You'll, you'll never, you'll never regret it because you see, you see a difference immediately, and you feel a difference as well. Brilliant. What have you guys tried? Have you tried anything before? Have you? Is it was this the first thing you've tried? Is it or just trying to motivate ourselves and do it ourselves? We've tried to sort of do it on your own, and you know what? You do get stuck if you're trying to do it on your own. Um. And eventually that motivation to do it, you know, if you do it the first four or five nights, you're going excellent. And then you'll have that night off and it's so hard just to kick your ass and go back to it. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's that's where I like the accountability where you're sort of saying, oh, come on, do this, do that, change this. You know, that's that's the big seller for me. That's what I like. Yeah, yeah. So re yeah. Re really it's more like the time management aspect that you like the best then and so it's the kind of me point saying right guys this is what i'm expecting you from this week in order to yeah. get to get from a to b we need to be doing this and, and yeah. that's kind of where you're coming you know, that's my favorite part of the the program as well actually i don't mind telling people what to do <laughs> <laughs> i get i get paid for just bossing people around all day so it's quite good i enjoy it you know because i know that you're going to make progress and that makes me happier at the end of the week it's it's for yeah. me for me, I think that's with my management experience is I got that expectation. So this is what I'm expecting from you guys in order. This is a two way thing. You know, yeah. I can only give you if you're not going to follow it, then you're not going to get the, you're not going to get the progress. It's as simple as that. So so yeah. things like I need you filling out the app. These are non-negotiables, you know, I need you submitting your diary to me every day. This is non-negotiable if you want to get to yeah. the, the, the goal. You know, if you want to improve your lifestyle, you know, you, you guys have taken the, the, the you have taken a positive step in the, into the right direction, into the right path, you know, you are doing brilliant and the results speak for themselves. And, you know, I just want you to keep going and let's just, let's just smash the next six weeks and let's blow it out the water. Let, I'm expecting another stone each, minimum, minimum yeah. by the end of the program. So you're right. We've, we've hit six weeks this week we need to start stepping stepping it stepping it up yeah 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 definitely have you guys got any questions for me today no just keep on busting us yeah <laughs> absolutely absolutely 